everyone welcome back to Inara Eats today I am in Costa Rica and I'm really 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 excited because I'm gonna be trying some local treats that I found at the gift shop and sharing my opinion on that so I'm in my hotel room as you can probably tell and obviously I did not bring any of the stuff that I typically use so just bear with me here but I have a bunch of sweets. I got Doritos that caught my attention in Cognita and Piazza, which is some sweet wafers. But we're gonna start with chocolate, and as y'all know, that's my favorite. Water is my palate cleanser. And let's go. So this is called Bianchi Mini, and it's a Caramello Imani Sabur a Chocolate. And I am assuming it's just chocolate and caramel, and I think there's something else in it, but it smells lovely. I think it's peanuts based off the smell. Oh, wait a second. We're breaking it in half. Oh my god. So that's what it looks like. Wait, is that almonds? I think it might be almonds. Um, yeah. Mm. That tastes interesting. Oh, I do not like that. That's like a weird, weird, like, weird almondy flavor. Probably not the best way to describe it, but it just tastes weird. Um, I don't like that. It smells okay. It just it doesn't taste fresh, and I'm not. I know chocolate isn't supposed to taste fresh, but it just tastes really, really not fresh. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to give that like a five out of ten. Sorry for the people that love the Beyond Cheat Mini. This is the 4x4. Four four. Wait a second. This is in a different language. It's a nougat bar with caramel and peanut. I think that's in Arabic, yo. This is halal for any of you <laughs> that might be interested. And I don't think this is from here. I think this is an international bar. Maybe not. But there's like Arabic on here. That's actually really 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 cool so I don't even know if this is local but it smells pretty good ooh these chocolates don't look like they've been selling for some time <laughs> in that shop but if you were to break it apart smell the caramel and the peanut and the chocolate ooh that's chewy. Like, it's good. I like it better than the first one. The peanuts are nice. And it's not too sweet, which is an issue with American chocolates. But really good. Not my favorite. Like a 7 out of 10. I don't think I would buy it again, though. Oh, pretty good. All right, moving on. This is a chicky wafer. So it's a chocolate dipped wafer filled with chocolate cream. That's a lot of chocolate, but I like that. So let's give this a go. Oh, there's two. Interesting. Oh, they're just flipped. <laughs> So I think it's dipped in chocolate on one side and then there's chocolate in between and then there's a wafer. They're, they're just wafer. I think it's like, kind of like a Kit Kat, but we can take a bite. Oh my God, that's nice. Oh my God. I like that. It's... 
I thought it'd be overwhelming at first, but it's actually not. It's quite refreshing. And it's like a snack you can eat and not get, you know, in need of water right away. Nine out of 10, I really, really, really like that. Next, we shall try. A Toys A Rose spoon. I think this is like uh, a crunch. I think it's um, with A Rose's Rice. So, yeah. Ooh. They're kind of like a Twix bar. So that's what it looks like. If I were to break it, I don't know what's in the middle. Hmm. I can't tell what's in the middle. Like a nougat? Or is it caramel? I don't know. I don't hate it. The rice is nice, but... It's nice. <laughs> it's not over. It doesn't. It doesn't take me over the roof or over the moon or something like that. But it's it's not bad. Pretty decent. I would give that like a seven out of ten as well. Nothing. You know, catching my attention here. We're gonna try one of these because my teeth are killing me from all the chocolate. Oh, but, wow, you get hit with that, like, strawberry yogurt scent. Are they even filled? Oh. I can't tell. It's like a very light pink fla uh, color flavor. All right, let's take a bite. That's actually really good. But you can taste the artificial strawberry flavor. Um, it says there's no artificial color, I think. But it, nothing about artificial flavor. <laughs> it's nice. It's, it's not overly sweet. But I think it's strong on the artificial flavor. Could dial it back a little. That's not bad. Um, I give that an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 is pretty good, yeah. Alright, before I get to the Doritos, my last chocolate bar. I don't know. This is, I think it's just chocolate con leche. And it's 32% um, extracted of the cacao, 17% of leche. Okay, I don't know too many details, but it seems like it's a good kind of chocolate. It's from Tutto. If that's a local brand here, that's great. Oh, it broke. Oh. But it just looks like chocolate, nothing. I think it's just milk chocolate, to be very honest. Yeah. Um, but let's take a bite. Ooh. That's good. It's simple milk chocolate, but it's not overly sweet. And it tastes really good. Yeah. I like that. Simple, easy going, 9 out of 10. Last but not the least, we have the Doritos Incognita. Which I'm assuming that they don't tell you what flavor it is. But I don't know. I'm assuming. Ooh. 
very strong salsa scent. They're heavily coated in like a purplish tint, purplish red. All right, let's take a bite. Ew. There's a lot going on. It's lemony, salty. Barbecue, not even bar, like really smoky, chipotle kind of flavored. Almost kind of like Takis vibe. It's not as much as heat. Or slight heat, but it's literally like a Taki. Overwhelming at first. It's not bad. I don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> Would I buy it again? Probably not. But not bad. Definitely overwhelming at first, but not one of my favorites. I'd probably just buy a Taki itself, but the kick actually is nice at, that hits you later on. Yeah. Oh. And I have a weird obsession with chips anyway, so. Honestly, not bad. 8 out of 10. But here we are. Um, Here's a few of the snacks that I grabbed um, from Costa Rica. There might be another video that I'll do on this trip. I'm not sure yet, but... I hope you enjoyed um, my international adventurous self and please do like, subscribe, and comment down below if you have any suggestions for me to try. Um, I am eating a lot of local Costa Rican cuisines and so far loving it. Very good food. I'm not surprised <laughs> at all and the coffee is amazing. But yeah, thank you so much and I'll see you next time.